All right, yo, what's good everyone, Nick Smith is back. Now, I'm happy to be doing another episode of the Los Angeles Lakers My GM series. It's been a while, man. It's, it's been a long time since I've done an episode of this series with the Lakers. And all I wanted to do up to this point was just play a game. The damn 2K thing, it was crazy. Every second there was a cutscene where a player would get injured or a player would... You know, they, they would ask for higher training and all this kind of stuff. It was driving me insane. That that bit where I had to, you know, uh, what's it called? Where I had to, you know, fast forward. That literally took like 10 minutes. And in that time period, there was players getting injured. And let me go over some players that were injured during that time period. We got Montreal Harrell injured. He was out for like one to two months. We got Julius Randle out for like four months, I think now. Kobe Bryant out for one to two weeks. It was absolutely insane. There's so many injuries in this My GM series. And honestly, I don't know how to fix it. I've lowered the training intensity now, so hopefully players will get injured less. But this is how the lineup is looking right now. We have D'Angelo Russell at the 1, then we have Victor Oladipo at the 2, which that would be uh, Kobe's spot, I think. Or maybe Kobe will start at the 3, Victor can start at the 2. Um, we have Anthony Morrow at the 3, we have Larry Sanders at the 4, and Boogie at the 5. So, it's a weird lineup, and to be honest, it's not really a lineup that I can run with going into uh, the rest of the season. So, I'm hoping my players can come back healthy and you know after after being injured for so long they won't get injured again because there are so many injuries in this my gm series and this is something new so i want you guys to comment down below in the comment section do you like this type of thing where i hop into a game then i simulate about a quarter and then i play the rest of the game this means that you're going to be seeing more gameplay on the channel because a lot of you guys in the comment section you want to see more gameplay and I'm listening to what you guys are trying to say and I'm trying to get the best videos possible on my channel. Most of you guys want to see more gameplay on the channel. So, this way where I simulate a quarter will mean I can edit videos quicker. I can, I just say quicker, really weird right there. I can edit videos quicker. I can get videos like gameplay videos out more on the channel. And you're going to be seeing not one game in this episode, but you're going to be seeing two games in this episode. And it means that you're going to be seeing more gameplay on the channel as well. Because a lot of you guys said in the comment section where I asked you guys, how can I improve on my videos? A lot of you guys said, Nick, I want to see more gameplay with your MyGM team. Because all you seem to do is make trades and go into, you know option menus and all this other kind of stuff and I'm getting kind of bored with your my GM series I want to see some more gameplay so I'm listening to what you guys are saying I don't just ask you guys things that I can improve on I actually try to improve and uh, that's what I'm really trying to do right here so not not only will you be seeing this game up against the Pacers which they actually don't have Paul George in this episode he's injured they don't have Monte Ellis, but they have Brandon Knight. They traded Monte Ellis for Brandon Knight in this My GM series. Um, but yeah, so we're facing up against the uh, paces right here. And we do come out with a 20-point win, which is nice. Brandon Knight's not too happy. He actually had to leave the team because the paces didn't really have anybody else. But we didn't really have Kobe or Randall or Harold. So, I mean, we did have Boogie, who almost dropped a triple-double. So there you go. And in about... 30 seconds, you're going to be seeing gameplay up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. So, this is something new, something I'm trying to test out. And if you like this style, you can comment down below and let me know. If you don't like the style, where you just want to see one gameplay and it might take longer to get out on the channel, well, you can comment down below as well telling me that. And uh, I, d I think this way is better because just, you're not only seeing gameplay against one team, but you're going to be seeing gameplay against two teams. And the reason why I didn't show as much gameplay against the Pacers is because I I blowed them out. I killed them by like 20 points. Whereas in this game, you... Ooh, hoo, hoo, Ola Depot! Whew, he crossed up Timothy Muscov and slammed it over Kevin Love. And this was Ola Depot's show coming game. He absolutely killed in this one. And he was playing up against J.R. Smith. And you know J.R. doesn't have defense. So we had to attack him with Ola Depot. And it wasn't Ola Depot beasting in this episode. Guess who else was beasting in this episode? He just dunked the ball right there. 
Boogie! So, yeah, the new style of videos um, will get more gameplay on the channel, it will get better quality videos on the channel, and I'm listening to you guys in the comment section. Now, the other day, and look at Oladipo, he was going insane in this episode. It was amazing to watch him play. He was really, really killing it. But, um, and Demarcus, obviously. Woo, what a spin move! <laughs> Anderson Vercher had no idea where he was going. Look at that move right there. And Boogie's pretty happy. He's happy to be in LA. Okay, now, I also was looking at some, you know, YouTuber videos and articles and stuff where I would just type in, you know, how to become a better YouTuber and how to grow my channel because there was a time period where I was so happy with how the channel was growing from like 20k subs to about 30k subs. I was growing like crazy and I was so happy and then when I went overseas my videos kind of dropped down obviously because I wasn't uploading videos and since then I haven't really I guess I haven't really grown as much as I wanted to. So, what I found out when reading some uh, some articles and watching some YouTube videos was where YouTubers would set a like goal setting. So, you would have like a like rating, but you have to set a goal on how many likes you want to achieve on each video. So, for each video, I'm going to try and uh, and set a like a like goal rating, I don't really know what to call it, but you know what I mean, like a like rating that I want you guys to achieve. So for this episode, let's just see if we can reach 500 likes for the next episode of this series. And look at Iman Shumper right there. That was a crazy dunk. And look at this, Kyrie ties it up in the fourth quarter. And this is what I mean by, you know, the Pacer game going quickly, but the Cavs game going quite long. This Cavs game was crazy. It was a close game throughout the whole game. And uh, unfortunately, though, with the last quarter, run it down, get that out of here. Look at that right there. Nick Young, Swaggy P says, why are you starting me on the bench? Give me that block and give me that tray. That was nice right there by Swaggy P. But then the Cavs turned it on just like the Cavs do. LeBron gets a dunk right there. D'Angelo misses, but Larry Sanders on the board gives it out. Almost a turnover. Boogie in the paint draws. The no foul, but he gets that to go. I thought he got fouled right there. He didn't. Kyrie gets this lab to go, and this is about the time where the Cleveland Cavaliers are not going to come back because we have Oladipo. Even though they're already winning, I don't really know what I'm saying, but I just dunk on his face. But this is the time right now, okay? This is the time where the Cavaliers break away. It was only like a three-point game. Then Love hits the three. Kyrie gets some free throws. LeBron dunks it down. Mo Williams gets a free throw with 14 seconds to go. We were down by 10 points and the game ends and we lose the game. So I hope you guys did enjoy this type of video. It's something different, something new, and it's something, yeah, it's going to be kind of cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm out. Peace. Let's see if we can reach 500 likes.